Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Zainab. You're absolutely welcome here. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. I know I've been off here for a while. I am ter terribly sorry, guys. I've just been caught up with a lot of things. But anyways, it's not about me in this video. It's about The Voice Nigeria. So the live shows have officially started. And guys, I can now say the competition just started. Like, they just turned up the heat in the kitchen because it is hot everywhere everywhere so um on today's show three talents for each of the coaches and at the end of the show the coach for a team would have the opportunity to save one of his or her talents that's leaving two other talent um, two other talents to um the voting from the public to vote um to public vote so if you have any faves this is where they need you the most go and start voting for them so anyways of course i just do a recap of um the show and today is no different actually like <clears> oh <throat> well there's talent and there's talent the three people that did it for me tonight guys kite naomi mark and esther guys they totally totally killed the show so now to the question of uh yeah kind of why did they kill it for me first of all esther sang um in the music by omaomi beautiful song and it was nothing like We've not seen her in that element before, and she embodied the song. She carried the song, and it was such a beautiful, beautiful, um, beautiful performance. She did really great, and her voice, like, <laughs> I mean, it's Esther we're talking about. We're not talking about anybody else. It's Esther we're talking about. Her voice and the performance. I mean, it was, it was, it was fantastic, fantastic. And Esther is from Team Diary. So moving on to Naomi, huh? Naomi, Naomi. <laughs> guys fire performance like even after her performance like after the show had ended because she was the last person to um, perform she sang um let me check let me check what did she sing she sang glory by john legend even after the show the whole show because she was the last perform uh, to perform like i said there was still like goosebumps on my body that was a fire performance powerful performance i feel like <laughs> guys naomi and um, um esther are kind of very very similar in vocal abilities but the thing that probably sets them apart is the fact that naomi has more experience so i mean she has that she knows how to i don't know how to put it but <laughs> um, it's going to be a really really tight one if both of them have to perform side by side but naomi killed it like the song choice her outfit was fire guys <laughs> her voice was fantastic and of course from team Faust, team Faust, team fire team fantastic like he said like he usually says so beautiful performance from naomi like that was <clears throat> It was it was beautiful i'm sure the words moving on to um kite kite i loved his performance and he knew like what would work for him right he knew he would be able to connect very well with the song and he chose the song because that was a fantastic um, choice of song dance to my father he lost his his, his dad a few moment a few years ago i don't know if it's years now or months but his dad is actually late and that song was such a fantastic um, um choice that he made because he was able to connect he was in that song he soaked himself in that song guys like and it's not like kite kite is usually like the performing kind of person you know dancing and all but this one he, he just sang and just expressed his emotion expressed his pain um the pain of losing a father and guys i don't think i don't think he would have had it any other way beautiful performance and of course of course of course after such beautiful performances like their coaches came through for them they saved them and you know easy as well had a very very beautiful performance but you see these three people kite naomi and esther they had a 
wonderful performance. I don't think I'll ever get tired of saying that. And I think it's kind of strategy. They were actually strategic. You see, Kite, he knew he was going to be able to connect more with the song and he wanted something different because we had not seen him in that element. So, of course, like that was strategic. And moving on to Esther. Esther, Esther, I'm sure she knows, everybody knows that she can sing. Even if every time they say, okay, what, how did you do? Uh, she'll say, well, bless God, is, you know, all of that. I mean, we know she knows that she can sing. So that's on that. So she knew or she had an idea. Yeah, she had a feeling that would want to see more. And that was what she actually brought to the table. It was like a twist, nothing that we had ever seen. She performed, she danced and, you know, she sang as well. And Naomi as well. I love the fact that she always picks songs that she can relate with. Songs that have affected her before. That she can relate with. She can connect with. Those are the songs that she keeps on, um, you know, choosing. And for this performance, like, it's a no-brainer. It was a fire performance, guys. Like, really. But let's move on to the other performances of the night. Let's start with Tim. Daray. So, um... Um, Jeremiah performed Bilonia by Tenny. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about the song, but I mean, he had a very beautiful performance as well. And I don't know. I don't know how to say this. But I feel that he did not bring like his A game. I don't know. Maybe it's the song choice, but his last performance for Battles was actually more powerful than this one this one it seemed like he was even too fast at some point i don't know if it's me or my tv but it seemed like he was he was going to, you know faster than the beats because tenny is not tenny was not really fast even if she was fast she wasn't as fast as jeremiah was in the song so i think that kind of affected him as well then kp on the other hand kp brought a um, different twist he sang um roju by Chike, and it was interesting to see a different side of him, right? And you know, you may think that mm, was it strategic, but you know, I was having a discussion with somebody, and he was like, the person said that KP was actually really strategic, that he was trying to save his best performances for later. And if you look at his performance for tonight, it wasn't really, really, you know, bad. I think we were just kind of, should I say, stunned <laughs> that okay, is this KP? Right? Like, what's going on here? Like, are you a lover boy? We don't know you in this element kind of, um, you know, thing. And I don't know. I just hope that it works for him. Because if he had actually performed, like, in his regular style and vibes and all of that, he would have had, like, a flawless, like, almost flawless performance. But this one is kind of new. And we're like, mm, mm, you know, what's going on here? But at the end of the day, like I said, I hope it works for him. Because it's audience now that would, you know, do the voting. So if KP is your fave, go and vote for him. If Jeremiah is your fave, they need you right now. Go and vote for them. Moving on to Team Fowl. So we have Tamara and Dakpo. So Dakpo, in the beginning for me, he was really, really lovely. The song, he sang um, Ordinary People by John Legend as well. In the beginning, I absolutely loved it. Like, you know, I was just in awe of his voice and all of that. But he, get, he got to the end and I'm like, I was looking for Dakwa. I was like, Dakwa. Tamara. I mean, I love Tamara. Like, no cap. Even right from the auditions, blinds, I really, because I was even like, why was it only one person that turned for her? Like, she has a really, really good voice. So I'm a fan of her. But for this performance, hmm, we know she can sing, right? We know she has a lovely voice, but that was all she gave us. She didn't give us something different. We didn't, we're not like, we're not like, oh, if you notice the other people, like after their performance or even during their performance, we're like, oh, so beautiful. We're odd, right? But Tamara's performance, there was no, oh, or there was no, mm, 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 if that makes sense. So, so I guess that's why, you know, their coach, um, coach Fowles did not turn for them. But nonetheless, they had a really, really beautiful performance. They performed well. Song-wise, maybe not the best choice of song, but Halo is actually a beautiful song choice. But like I said, maybe we just wanted to see more. Something that was not, or something that is not the normal or regular Tamara. 
let me know what you think in the comment section below guys on to team yemi we have tossing and anu i loved anu's performance like it was so calm so so cool uh, this this song didn't need like too much bass balls or too much energy she sang um feeling good by nina simone it was really really beautiful her performance too came through and tossing on the other hand sang declined by miley cyrus and it was really really beautiful as well she sang well but why didn't their judges to um choose them or save them. why didn't why didn't hear me sorry why didn't hear me save them i feel <laughs> in as much as they had like a beautiful performance kitty actually did better than the two of them that's like basically it kitty did better than both of them we were able to connect more with kitty than than the other two people so moving on to team waje we have easy um easy sang if you ask me by um omaomi it was really really a beautiful song and at the end of the day um waje saved her um i think what worked for easy was the fact that she started the show right because noel ayo had a beautiful performance now it's kind of you know who did better and who deserved the save waje save i feel like both of them actually did almost at the same level because i absolutely enjoyed noel ayo's performance let me know what you think in the comment um comment section that doesn't mean that easy did not do well she did fantastic i loved her you know her voice in the song she she, she sang it really really beautifully but i i think what really worked for her or what the extra was that <laughs> she was the first person so I mean it's like fresh in people's minds so when you come and deliver a very beautiful performance you wow the audience you leave that lasting impression and that was what actually that's that's what i believe actually saved her she left like a really lasting impression in her judge in her coach why do i keep saying judge in her coach yj and when it was time to save like it was a no-brainer she chose um easy but at some point i thought she was going to choose um noel ayo because no ayo's performance was really really beautiful as well it was really convincing like you could feel it like at first i was like okay well you know come through but at the end it didn't even take long it didn't even take like three seconds like i was really like feeling it i was feeling the vibe of the song and whatnot um who else again in your la right I, I hope i'm not i hope i didn't get that wrong in the in let me just say in it i don't know if it's choice of song as well but that song was like too calm for a live show or for i mean it's, it's still battles if we, whether we like it or not but that song was too calm i mean we know you can sing so sing right sing but that song um he sang whiskey um Ess essence by whiskey featuring Thames. i don't think that song was the best song choice to be very honest but yeah now so it take up no so at the end of the day we have Iniola, we have um no ayo we have jeremiah kp dakbo and tamara um tosin and anu who are up for possible eviction so if any of them if you like any of them if you feel that they deserve your votes please vote for them they need your votes right now right 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 now go and vote for them pumping your votes for them i mean this one is even better than nigerian idol i don't i hope there won't be any pity party but that nigerian idol there was a lot of oh pity party oh this and that this one like all of them are talented all of them can sing so it's going to be really really tight so don't slack guys don't slack go and vote for your face like right about now get up get up get up so thank you so much for watching guys this is where i'll be stopping this video let me hear your thoughts in the comment section drop your comments like this video if you liked it subscribe if you haven't and you know you like what you watched as well i'll see you guys in the next episode the next video thank you so much for watching bye guys